What's your purpose in life? What do you envision your life to be next year? In five years, in 10 years, or even in 20 years? In this video, I'm gonna ask you 10 powerful questions that will help you ensure that you have a bright and compelling vision God's way. If you are married, don't miss question number 10. But what is a vision? Here is a simple answer. A vision is a description of a desired future. A vision includes an understanding of God's will and God's purpose for your life. You may have heard the verse, where there is no vision, the people perish. Interestingly, the word vision has also been translated as revelation. And that is God's will for His people. Think about this. A vision ignites excitement in the present and creates hope for the future. That's what you want. Now, let's go to the 10 questions. Question number one, do you have a clear and compelling vision statement for your life? I say clear because you need to be able to describe specifically what you will be doing next year, in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. And it needs to be compelling because you are thinking about a bigger, better, and brighter future for your life. And I say it's a statement because even in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, God told the prophet, write down the vision and make it plain. Question number two, is your vision Christ-centered? If you are a Christian, a follower of Christ, then you need to think of your vision as a vision that includes activities and behaviors that will glorify and honor God? Or is your vision selfish and self-centered? Question number three, is your vision based on Christian values? This question goes along question number two, because your vision needs to be based on a biblical worldview. If you study the Bible and you are learning biblical principles, then you can see if your vision aligns with those biblical principles. Question number four, does your vision include these seven areas of life? What are these seven areas that I'm referring to? Well, the physical area, it's your physical health. The psychological, it's your mental health. The relational area, it's your marriage, your family, your friendships. The financial area, it's how you manage your finances. The professional area, it's about your job and your career. The recreational area, oh, it's about having fun and relaxing. In the spiritual area, it's about your faith in Christ and spiritual growth. So you need to have a vision that encompasses all these seven areas of life. Question number five, do you have smart goals in each of these seven areas? And do you also have a strategic plan to reach those goals? You may have heard that the acronym SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Each goal needs to be SMART. Question number six, do you evaluate your progress regularly? Evaluation is key. A vision gives you a destination. A vision is about the person you want to become in the future what you want to be doing in the future. So you need to know where you are right now and what steps you are taking to get to your destination. Evaluation is key. Question number seven, does your vision require changes in your life? A compelling vision is not only about what you will be doing next year, in five years or 10 years, but it's also about what kind of person you will become. As a Christian, you know that God wants us to grow and to become more like Jesus Christ. So think in terms of what kind of person God wants you to become. The truth is that change and growth are always constant in the believer's life. Question number eight, 
is your vision future oriented and considering all the stages of the life cycle? For example, as you envision this brighter, better future for your life, think about the various stages of life and the stage that you are in and the stages that are to come. For example, if you are single, think about a vision for your single life, a vision for your marriage life. Then having children and raising them, what's your vision for that phase of life? Then sending them to college, then becoming empty nesters in retirement. Oh, this may seem so far away, but the reality is you need to envision that bright, better future for your life. Question number nine, does your vision challenge you to step out of your comfort zone? The comfort zone is a place that includes what is familiar to you, a place that is known and maybe even predictable. Usually in your comfort zone, there are no challenges, risks, or changes. Therefore, you feel safe, right? Feel secure, feel comfortable. Even if you are not satisfied with your life, that's what is familiar to you. But usually a vision takes us out of our comfort zone. It involves getting out of the comfort zone and facing new challenges. Now, question number 10. If you are married, have you and your spouse developed a shared vision for your marriage? A vision must be shared for a marriage to be successful. It's not about one spouse imposing a vision on another spouse. No, no, no. It's coming together to develop a shared vision. Watch the video here on the screen so you can learn about how to create a shared vision for marriage. And if you liked the video, click the like button, share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.